Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Yeah, previously we unboxed the Geniatech XPi35660. The specifications are impressive. I can't wait to work with this. It's kind of ironic though that the thumbnail says USB-C OTG because ADB is enabled by default, meaning you have no keyboard or mouse. So that's what we're going to work through in this video. Little housekeeping here. I hooked up the Wi-Fi antenna to the IPEX connector on the board. Okay, there's power, OTG, and HDMI. We'll get that hooked up. And here's the AC power adapter here. And there's a little button there. You can pop that back off if you need to change plugs. Pretty cool. Okay, so we got it all hooked up. Ready to fire it up. I got my Sabrent USB hub there. Oh, and that's my AGP tech. Basically, it's a screen recorder. I use it on all of my Linux videos. I'm going to use this slick wireless keyboard with the touchpad. And there's my portable monitor. Okay, this is the first boot. And guess what? I can't move the mouse over there to click next. There's no mouse. <laughs> See, I'm wiggling the mouse and the cursor doesn't move. Wiggling the mouse, cursor doesn't move. I tapped a few keys here and there, nothing happened. I tried tab and enter. Oh, it says here how to enable OTG. And then in the specification document, it hints at the same thing. But it doesn't really clearly describe it, and it's not going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. You need to do it twice and then manually edit the file to make it permanent. I googled around and found this article where it describes the first boot. Now, ADB is Android Debug Bridge. So it's an Android debug mode on that port. So first we have to install the ADB tools. Fortunately, there's a link right there. All right, downloaded that zip file. So this platform tools folder, I'm just going to copy that out of the zip file. Here's the contents, some executables, maybe 10, 15 megabytes of data here. No big deal. Yeah, I want to paste that. I want to keep my paths short because we're going to be working in a terminal, a command prompt, essentially. So I'm going to paste it right at the root of C. Yeah, sometimes the paths get so long, the commands wrap around to the next line and stuff. Okay. So now the easiest thing to do is just right-click on that folder and say, Open in Terminal. There you go, and you can see we're in that path, C, Platform Tools. So let's see, what do we have to run? Yeah, let's close this down. So what do we have to run now? Let's get back to our instructions here. We need to run dot slash ADB devices. But first, you got to hook the XPi up to the USB port. Yeah, I was ready to go, and then I'm like, oh, got to plug it in. Yeah, it's plugged in now. That's the OTG port to my USB on my PC. And there's that terminal window. And we're ready to run that command. Oh, we get prompted for the firewall here. We're going to allow that. And we can see the command returns a device. I'm going to run the command again just to make sure we don't get that warning about the firewall. Okay, that works. Next command is ADB shell. Look at that. It changes it root at Raspberry Pi. <laughs> so we're actually communicating with the board through this ADB shell. That next command, echo host sys devices platform fe 8A with four zeros, the USB 2-PHY slash OTG mode. Look for the link to this article down below. It's funny how it runs off, runs off the end and then the command runs off to the left there. And I like, I panicked, like, is it all there? Did it go away? Oh no, it's all there. And then the other end goes away. I'm just learning. I've never seen that before, so 
Apparently there's a limit to the number of characters that can be displayed in a line in ADB shell. I just don't know how to get to the other end there. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, it's all there. The command's all there. Just hit enter. And that was it. Now, if you're like me and you're keeping score, suddenly you just realize that that's a temporary setting. And as soon as you unplug it, what we just did is going to go away. We'll test that theory here. Booting up the Raspberry Pi and sure enough, no mouse, no keyboard, I'm tab key, Windows key, nothing. So here I've got my laptop in the Raspberry Pi room. It's hooked up to the OTG port and we'll keep the board powered this time. So after we have that temporary setting of that, then we'll be able to go through Raspberry Pi setup then it's going to reboot and we're going to have to go through the ADB thing again after the reboot. And then we'll edit the file for the permanent OTG. ADB devices, ADB shell, run the long command. There we go. Now we can complete setup. There we go. Now we can complete setup. Yeah, the mouse works. Click next. Yeah, I'm not going to go through the whole setup in this video. You've seen Raspberry Pi set up a, a few times, I'm sure. And there's nothing unusual, just regional settings, create a user, connect to the Wi-Fi, do the updates. Okay, so we went through all that and we're at the restart now. So again, even the article with the instructions that were clear that helped me get through this doesn't tell you you have to do this twice. You know? So that's why you're watching this video. You get the lowdown here. I go through this stuff so you don't have to. <laughs> it's that simple. All right, we're booting up. Again, yeah, we're just going to go straight to uh, doing this. And then we're going to edit that etc. rc.local file. And basically, it's the same command in that file. You just have to uncomment it by deleting the hash. So, ADB shell, well, ADB devices to check that it's there. ADB shell. Run the long command. There we go. So now we got to go edit that file, uncomment that line. It's the same command, it's just got a hash in front of it. Take that hash out and it will run that command when the computer starts. So let's see where that file is, first of all, etc. Okay, so it's not in a subfolder, it's just in the root of etc. there. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Oh, there it is. Now I'm thinking here, if I just open it, I won't be in root mode or pseudo mode, so I won't be able to save the file. So let's cancel out of that. And what do we do? Let's launch a terminal. Now I got two. I clicked so fast. Let's close one of those. And I'm going to type pseudo mousepad. And you see right across the top, it's warning you that it's in root mode and you could harm your system. So let's go find that file now. It's not in my recents. So we have to open. Let's go other locations, computer, etc. Somehow I botched the sort here. I don't know what key I pressed, but I botched the sort. I'm uh, searching for it. Yeah, don't bother. Just scroll down to the R's. It's down there. Come on, R. Yeah, it's alphabetical, so all you got to do is scroll down. You notice that they're making the scroll bars narrower in everything now? It doesn't make much sense. Yeah, there we go. RC local. We open that up. And again, we're in root mode in mouse pad. Just got to delete that little hash in front of that echo command there. Mission accomplished. Now let's save the file. And we're able to do that. Because we're in root mode. I'm going to close out a mouse pad. And you know, 
One way I make sure everything's good is I always double check my work. So we're going to just open it up again and make sure. Yeah, and you can see the hash is not there in front of the echo. So we uncommented the echo command. So now we're ready to reboot. Okay. Moment of truth. Raspberry Pi like OS. That's an interesting introduction there. It's going to be fun working with this. Once we got past this part here, that's, I think this is going to be, yeah, see, mouse is working out of the gate. Keyboard's working out of the gate. Yeah, there's the cursor moving around. Excellent. And that's permanent now. It's as long as that command is there. Okay, so look for all the links down below. Watch the unbox video to get the specs. Product page, article to fix this problem here. I'm going to start a Genia Tech playlist. And of course, I have my larger Raspberry Pi playlist. So leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.